Hello everyone, this is the Broken Lobo. Welcome to the Broken Lobo Gaming Channel. Today's video is the first in a series I'm tentatively titling So You Want Solo, which is essentially going to be me walking through my thought process um, when facing um, certain bosses. I think this would be a pretty interesting series being that I'm a glass cannon build and even though that's obviously not anything revolutionary, um, I think that what it's done is it's made me a lot more creative um, when facing bosses, I try not to quote unquote cheese. I know sometimes people look at incantations like Rotten Breath as a cheese. I don't necessarily look at it like that so long as it's not being abused. Um, but most of my fights um, have been what I guess what I would call quote unquote straight up um, melee focused. And so that's what this video is going to be focused on uh, specifically for the Night Cavalry uh, duo that you can find in the Consecrated Snowfield. Um, these guys are guarding a caravan, so um, in addition to dropping a pretty fancy armor set, um, they're also guarding, you know, either a weapon or an incantation that could be helpful uh, to you on your playthrough. Um, we know that the Consecrated Snowfields are obviously not um, the most forgiving place, so if you're there, you're probably at a, at a pretty decent level. Um, you know, but if you are a melee focused player or if you're somebody who likes to switch it up like me, um, and you know, enjoys the versatility of being able to cast incantations or sorceries. Um, in addition to be able to, uh, you know, fight any boss effectively using melee, um, then this might be a video that would be of, of some interest to you. Um, you know, typically, uh, what I found uh, during my playthroughs is that even if I struggle slightly with um, a boss early on. What it allows me to do is to download movesets, which I'm sure a lot of experienced Souls players are, are very familiar with. Um, but more importantly, um, you know, it gives me an opportunity to, you know, to really fight the boss in, in a way that's meaningful and satisfying. I'm not just kind of running away, um, where I'm able to anticipate moves, I'm able to dodge, you know, accordingly and um, provide timely uh, attacks as needed. So. I'd just like to take some time to share what my thought process and strategies are. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. All right, so the name of the game with the Knight Cavalry enemy um, is to stay on his left side or the non-weapon side. Um, he's always going to try to orient himself so that you are on his weapon side in which case they will do um, sort of a, a shoulder bump um, where they dash into you uh, and stun lock you um, or you know of, you know various um, moves where they're swinging their weapon so as you can see here uh, I'm doing my best to um, remain aggressive um, you roll sort of late to avoid that uh, that jumping attack that you saw me avoid there and I'm always looking to uh, remain on his left side or his non-weapon side. Um, I take the opportunity to jump attack where it makes sense because um, obviously that's a more powerful attack especially when you're dual wielding um, but I also make sure to remain disciplined and stay on the ground and just make sure to take hits as well where I, where I can get them. Um, there's a lot of moves that he does that are punishable especially if you remain aggressive so you'll notice that throughout um, this encounter i'm making sure to uh, close the distance with him um, as much as possible rolling away at the last second with that move in particular once um, he rears his horse up if you can roll or sort of strafe and get on his non-weapon side you should be able to get two or three hits in reliably um, and then once you've knocked him off his horse uh, the ideal scenario would have been to just um, hit him with a critical at that point uh, but unfortunately I guess just based on the angle that I was at it didn't happen um, so it prolonged this fight a little bit um, but again as you can see here I'm taking my opportunities to punish him with jumping attacks as necessary and he's done um, I would highly recommend I've, even though I've sped this part up there are two pages which I think people know are incredibly annoying enemies best thing to do so that they don't interfere with your fight with the other Knight Cavalry guy with the Great Axe would be to kill them first. 
uh, and then get to the night cavalry guy as quickly as possible. So at this point, I'm taking an opportunity to buff myself um, with the flame, give me strength, incantation. Um, and now, you know, obviously my wondrous physic has run out. Uh, the wondrous physic concoction that I go with most often is one that combines the opaline heart tier with, um, I believe it's a green burst uh, tier, which extends my stamina. Uh, bar and being that I'm a glass cannon build, I think my stamina is only at 20 right now. My vigor I haven't upgraded, and I'm at uh, level 12 there. So um, you know it's imperative that I remain mobile and I have an opportunity to escape. As you can see there, this is the only hit that I took um, in the fight with either the flail or the axe knight cavalry enemy. Um, but that kind of illustrates my point where if you hug his right side, you leave yourself vulnerable to that sort of shoulder bash or side dash, as I would call it. Um, so again, the name of the game here is to remain aggressive, um, do dodge into his attacks. Um, more often than not, you'll end up on uh, the left side, which leaves him open to a couple of hits. Um, as you can see here again, I'm making sure not to be greedy. I could have went for the front of his uh, of his body or the head of the horse, but um, that might have left me vulnerable uh, to a shoulder bash or to him uh, hitting me with an attack um, that's front oriented. Um, he has a heavy attack where he does that. So one pro tip is that the further away they get from the caravan, uh, the less, the more likely they will be to be diagro uh, because they're programmed to go back to the convoy so if you can prolong the fight enough uh, after a while they become sort of sitting ducks as you saw there uh, even though he was close to death anyway that's a strat for some for people who are perhaps uh, less powerful than my character uh, and there you have it see you guys next time peace